Welcome, dear students, to our final revision session in algebra. Here, it's a multiple choice question. Question 1 The common domain of the two fractions 2 over x minus 3 and 7 over x minus 6 is what? The domain of the first fraction is all the numbers except 3. And the domain of the second fraction is excellent, all the numbers except 6. So, in this case, the common domain is exactly, you guys are awesome. All the numbers except 3 and 6. Question 2 The probability of the impossible event equals the impossible event itself is phi, but the probability is equal to yes, it's 0. Question 3. If 2x equals half, the question is asking you to find the value of one-fifth of x. So, so in here, if you have 2x equals 1, then x equals half. So, what's one-fifth of half? Yes, excellent. It's 1 over 10. So in this case, our choice is choice C. Question 4. It's given that x squared minus y squared equals 2 open bracket x plus y, such that x plus y is not equal to 0. The question here wants you to find the value of x minus y. As you can see here for the first one, x squared minus y squared, it can be factored as difference of two squares. So x plus y times x minus y equal to x plus y. x plus y will be crossed out with x plus y. So x minus y equal 2. So the question here wants you to find the value of x minus y, which is equal to, so the answer is choice A. Excellent, guys. Let's move on to question 5. The question here is asking, the set of zeros of the function f where f of x equals x minus 3 over x plus 2 is what? The set of zeros are the values of x that make this function equal 0. So how do we do it? We make x minus 3 equal 0. So the x value is 3. So in this case, our choice is choice B. Question 6. The solution set of the two equations x minus 2y equal 1 and 3x plus y equal 10. I have the two equations, so the first one, we make it as x equals 1 plus 2y. We substitute this in the other one. So 3 times 1 plus 2y plus y equal 10, so 3 plus 6y plus y equal 10, we combine the like terms together, so 7y equals 7, then y equals 1. If y equals 1, so to find the value of x, x equals 1 plus 2 times y, so x equals 3. So here, take care for this trick. D is not an ordered pair, is not a solution set. So the solution set in this case is x equals 3, where it's y equals 1. So the choice in this case is choice B. Let's now solve another question. In this question, yes, it's a quadratic equation. Let's put it in the right format. 5x minus 4 equals 0. 
you have the option to do it by any of the ways but this one cannot be factored so in this case we will do it with the quadratic formula we have a equals 3 where b equals negative 5 and c equals negative 4 so the quadratic formula says x equals minus b plus or minus square root b squared minus 4 ac over 2a so if you substitute this in here minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4 a c over 2 a so you substitute once before the square root you make it minus you find the value of x and the other time you make plus so x would be equal to negative 0 0.59 or x equals to 2.26 in this question the question is asking you to find n in the simplest form showing the domain as you can see here I'm adding two fractions the two fractions in order to add them they must have the same denominator take care before you find the common denominator before you cross out and simplify you have to find the common domain so here let's factorize each of the numerators and the denominators if possible the first one it cannot be factored so it's x squared plus 2x plus 4 its denominator can be factored as x minus 2 multiplied by x squared plus 2x plus 4 plus yes this numerator can be factored x plus 2 times x minus 1 and this denominator yes difference of two squares it can also be factored can I cross out here now? No, before you cross out, don't forget to say that the domain is only numbers except, except what? Yes, excellent. Negative 2 and 2. Now, you can start simplifying. So, in this one, it's 1 over x minus 2 plus x minus 1 over x minus 2 here you can see that we have the same denominator so we can go and add 1 plus x minus 1 numerator will be x over x minus 2 and this is the simplest form Let's now go and see another question. In this question, the question is asking us to solve the two equations. So here, x minus 2y equal 1, where x squared minus xy equals 0. So for the first equation, I can make it as x equals 1 plus 2y then I will go and substitute it in the other equation so here it's 1 plus 2y all squared minus the y multiplied by the x 
equals zero. How to expand this binomial? How to expand this binomial? One plus four y plus four y squared minus y minus two y squared equals zero. Let's combine the like terms together. 2y squared plus 3y plus 1 equals 0. Let's factorize. 2y plus 1 and y plus 1 equals 0. So here y has two values, either negative half or y equals negative 1. For each value of y, I will find the x. So, for y equals negative half, x equals 1 plus 2 times negative half, so x equals 0. For the other value of y, which is negative 1, x equals 1 plus 2 times negative 1, x equals negative 1. So here, the solution set is 0, negative half, and negative 1, negative 1. Let's go together and solve another question. In this question, n of x equals x squared minus 3x over x squared minus 9 divided by 2x over x plus 3. The question here wants us to write n in the simplest form, showing its domain. So, let's factorize any of the numerators or the denominators that can be factored. So, here we can take x as a common factor, x minus 3 over difference of two squares, x plus 3, x minus 3, divided by 2x cannot be factored more, and x plus 3 cannot be factored more. Can I now cross out? No, wait, we need to find the domain first. So in this case, the domain is all in numbers except Yes, excellent, except negative 3 and 3. And to divide fractions, remember very well the keep change flip that we talked about before. So we keep the first fraction as it is. We change division sign into multiplication sign, and then we flip the second fraction. Now let's simplify the x minus 3 with the x minus 3, the x plus 3 with the x plus 3, the x with the x. So the simplest form is 1 over 2. One more question. The question says, find the solution set of y equals x minus 3 and x squared plus y squared equals 17. It's ready for you to substitute y equals x minus 3 in the other equation. So, in the other equation, x squared plus substitute y by x minus 3 squared equals 17. So, expand x squared plus, let's expand this, x squared minus 6x plus 9 equals 17. It's a quadratic equation. Let's combine the like terms together and put this inside to make it equal zero. So here, 2x squared minus 6x minus 8 equals zero. Yes, it can be simplified more by dividing everything by 2. So x squared minus 3x minus 4 equals 0, so it can be factored as x minus 4 and x plus 1 equals 0, then in this case x can be equal to 4 
or x can be equal to negative 1. For each value of x we find, we'll find its y value. So y equals 4 minus 3, so y equals 1. So in this case, the solution set is 4, 1. How about the other value of x, which is x equals negative 1? Yes, so y equals negative 1 minus 3, so it's equal to negative 4. So here we have two solutions for this, where x equals 4 and y equals 1, and x equals negative 1 and y equals negative 4. Let's move to another question. A card is drawn randomly from 30 identical cards, numbered from 1 to 30. Find the probability that the number on the drawn card is divisible by 4. Let's first go and check what numbers do we have from 1 to 30 are divisible by 4. Okay, the numbers that are divisible by 4 are the multiples of 4, right? Yes. So the multiples of 4 are, in this case, 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, and 28. So the probability that the number is divisible by 4, in this case, is, count how many are they? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So it's 7 out of 30. In the second question, the question is asking us to find the probability of getting a number which is a prime number. Let's try to find the prime numbers from 1 until 30. Remember, 1 is not a prime number. So 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, 19, 23, and 29. So to find the probability of a prime number, let's go and count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So the probability is 10 out of 30, which is, can be simplified as 1 over 3. Dear students, by solving this question, we came to the end of our session. Thank you very much. Take care of yourselves and good luck.